Colette Toomey runs the Clonic Hill Tea Food Company, producing sausages, rashers, and of course, black and white pudding. The business has come a long way from the town butcher that Colette started running with her husband, Eddie, in the 1970s. The shop came with a recipe for a rather special black pudding. This lady, Joanna Bryan, sold black pudding in Harrington's butcher shop in Clonic Hill Tea. She got very old. She actually told him the secret ingredients of the spices. And this is the same Harrington's butcher shop yes. that your husband bought yes. the year before you got married? Yes. In 2005, Colette's husband, Eddie, passed away. Did you consider selling it at the time or did people approach you? A lot of people almost presumed it would be for sale. One person rang our secretary at one time and he said, is Clonic Hill Black Pudding for sale? And her answer was, yes, in shops all over the country. What was once handmade in a town butcher's is now being produced on a far grander scale. And Clonic Hilty Pudding is now sold throughout Ireland and abroad. But some things never change. And the recipe remains a closely guarded secret. I can't tell you what's in the containers, but this is a cross-section of the spices that we use. I'm the guardian of the secret for the moment. A time will come when I um, have three sons, when they, when they will know, but at the moment it's just myself. Yeah, and that's all I'm going to tell you. It's just steadily growing. We're the number one selling black pudding now in the country. Well, the ingredients are all locally sourced and minced and mixed, and they're literally put into a casing or into the plastic chub as we see it, and the pudding is boiled. Well, we average about um, 20 tonne of black pudding a week. I remember Colette years ago, I was uh, playing hurling in university in Galway and we were going off on the bus one morning, no breakfast, and I had two rings of black pudding with me in the pocket. So I started eating them at the back of the bus. The lads thought I was cracked. Joe Connolly, the famous Galway hurler, talks about madmen from Connemara eating raw pudding. Oh yeah. And now you told them the secret, you told them it was already cooked. It's already cooked, so it's quite okay to eat it.